Were you messing around with your computer's BIOS, made a few settings, saved it, and when you restarted, you've got a completely black screen and you are freaking out? Well, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to quickly get back to your factory settings by basically hitting the reset button so that maybe you can try again or take it to somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Anyways, this is gonna work across the board on pretty much any motherboard. In my case, I've got the Aorus X570 Pro Wi-Fi, but it should be very similar regardless of the motherboard that you have. And there's actually about three ways that you can do this. So let's jump in and check it out. It may actually require you to take a little bit of your computer apart, but I promise you it's not as scary as it sounds. Let's check it out. And of course, do this at your own risk, guys. If something happens to your computer, it's obviously not my fault. Having said that, it is quite easy as you can see here. Definitely make sure your computer is off with your power supply turned off and your power cord unplugged. Next, you'll wanna press your power button to discharge what's left of the power. And I always unplug all my peripherals just because. So because your computer's layout's probably different from mine, I would pull up the specs or the instruction manual for your specific motherboard to try and locate a few things. Now the easiest thing will be a reset button on the front or the back of your motherboard. So make sure you check for that first. Basically hit that and you're done. I don't have one on my motherboard, so I have to either rely on a battery or actually shorting the CMOS switch. Let's start with the battery option because shorting something doesn't really sound all that appealing if you don't have a lot of computer experience. All you need to do is locate the little round battery on your motherboard. You can confirm the location in your instructions, but that's pretty much it. Take it out, wait five minutes and then replace it. Now that should bring you back to square one and you should have your screen restored, but it's not always the case. So there is another option. The last way is to locate and short the CMOS jumper. It's going to look similar to this. And all you need to do is find something conductive and press and hold. So they're touching, essentially shorting it out for five to 10 seconds. This process as well should bring you back to square one. After this, go ahead and reconnect your power once again to confirm that your screen once again is working. In my case, I did need to remove my graphics card to access the battery. So if that's the route you're going, here's how to remove and install your graphics card to access it. First, unplug the power to your graphics card and undo the mounting bolts holding your graphics card in. Next, there's gonna be a tab you need to press or pull depending on your setup. It's gonna be in the middle or on the right side of your graphics card typically. That's pretty self-explanatory. Press that and remove it fully. And that's it for the removal process. To reinstall it, just literally do those same steps in reverse. So I hope that helped you out guys and it worked. If it did, make sure you drop a like and a comment down in the description. And it's definitely a bit nerve wracking messing around with your computer if you don't know a heck of a lot, but this is a great way to learn. So there it is guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did consider subscribing and like always make mistakes, be yourself and get out there and go create. See you next time.